Hey everybody, it's Goody Parade and today I have some Monster High Dead Tired re-release dolls. I've got a Cleo and a Frankie that are re-released new in the box and then I have some of the original release that are already part of my collection. So I'm very excited to have Cleo and Frankie join these gals. So first off, I am going to start and show you the dolls that I already do have. I have Miss Draculaura here. She's got her uh, Sleepy Time ponytails, which I think are kind of funny how they go almost straight up. She's got her eye mask for that, you know, sleeping in time. And these are some of my favorite of all the pajamas for sure, with the little ruffle and the bow here and the little poof sleeve with the little lace around the um, arm. So cute, lace around the bottom here. And then cute little polka dot knickers with lace around the bottom. And both of these do Velcro in the back and they are separate pieces, so you can take them off separately. And then she has some kind of faux fuzzy slippers black, I mean fuzzy platform, you know, high heel slippers, um, and they look like little bats. They have little bat wings, and then they're kind of fluffy. So that is her, and she's pretty cute. Okay, next up, I do have the Gulia Dead Tired, and I love her because she comes with red glasses, and I just love doll glasses. What gets cuter than that? She also has this beautiful long hair. She has a two-piece pajama set as well, the white with the red splat on it. And then she has these kind of white uh, spotted uh, knickers as well with a little skirt attached to it, which is kind of cute and different than the others. And then she's got the puffy uh, slippers, sling backs, whatever you want to call them. And they have a face on them. And I just love these. I actually like to display these shoes because they are so precious with the little face. It's almost like they're alive, like they're little creatures that they're wearing. And hers, of course, are wearing glasses. Very, very cute, Miss Gulia. Loving it. Okay. So I saved Claudine here for the last of the ones I already have because she was an exclusive that came with this bed set. And uh, the only way you could get her was if you bought the whole set. She didn't come in a separate little box. And I love her pajama. She has this awesome t-shirt top that's ripped away, torn away. It looks like someone just ripped it with their teeth. And she's got little claw marks right here on the top of her t-shirt little purple accent on the side and then look like super comfy uh, little knickers there with uh, matching purple accents that match the sleeves here and then are you ready for her shoes oh my gosh her slippers I guess we're gonna say bed shoes I'm not sure super cute they have little fangs and little yellow eyes and they have ears of course because Miss Claudine is a uh, daughter of the werewolf and has ears too so super cute and uh, she also does have the uh, eye mask. Uh, Gulia has one, but I couldn't find it. So we'll just have to use your imagination. But that is Miss Claudine and she came with this awesome bed. I don't know if you've seen her bed, but it is so cool. It's purple, of course. It has like faux uh, kind of spike, purple spikes in here. And then of course it kind of looks like a dog bed. And then one of my favorite features is it has this little kind of uh, curtain here, like beaded curtain hanging in the back. And I think this is kind of a clever idea. There's another one of these dog looking beds, but it can just slide right under there or slide out. So you can kind of configure it how you want. I found a couple of these at garage sales and sometimes I put a couple of them under here so I can have a triple bed for when she has a slumber party. And there's also uh, little shelves on it as well, which is pretty cute. So I'm just gonna keep this here so we can have all the girls have a little slumber party. Okay, who should we start with? Okay, I'm gonna start with Miss Frankie. I do have a Frankie bed, but it was packed away so I couldn't get it out for you today, bummer. Um, again, like I said, this is a reissue, so this is not uh, the kind of box that they originally came in. And there is Miss Frankie Stein with her usual color palette, the kind of black, white, gray, and blue. And she does have some cute little slippers too, and hers have little bolts in them. <laughs> and it comes with a brush, and it looks like there's a little uh, phone charger thing here that comes with it too. I love this little picture of her sleeping. Oh, she's just dead tired, dead tired. Pretty artwork on the side. 
And then here it says, uh, Frankie Stein, pop the popcorn, put on your pajamas, and get ready to fang out with your ghoul friends. This scary, cool creepover will be anything but a snooze. Eye mask. It, it looks kind of blends in with her hair with those stripes. And then she has her long hair pulled to the side in a ponytail. And she's got her trademark little neck bolts there. Course. Let's go ahead and get her open. All right, she is out, and oh, that's really, really pretty little artwork on there. Wow, it's like a little room with a coffin-shaped window here, and then a cute little couch and pillow, and then a little uh, bed on the floor. Okay, here is our lady, Miss Frankie Stein, dead tired. Are you just dead tired? You look fabulous for being so tired. I like how her bangs are just combed to the side. Oh, look at little eye mask. It it looks kind of blends in with her hair with those stripes and then she has her long hair pulled to the side in a ponytail and she's got her trademark little neck bolts there of course and then she has this tank top on with a lightning bolt looks pretty cozy and then her uh, pants are striped. Oh, there's a cute little plaid uh, little piping around the top, which is a nice little touch. And so there's the black stripes and then little blue lightning bolts. Now I'm not entirely sure you guys can tell me, but this is kind of a shiny polyester -y, uh, fabric. And I do believe that the first release of these were more cotton. They seemed a little more cottony, a lot like the um, Claudine and the Gulia pants, but I could be mistaken. Okay. Here are her shoes. I'll put her down for a second. With the or slippers, I guess I should call them bed shoes. I don't know what to call them. What would you guys call them? They're kind of funny slippers. Can you imagine having slippers like that? So yes, it's a little creature, has little fangs, and then the little bolts in the side. That is just darling, 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 darlingicious. Okay, so we're gonna snap these on. Let me make sure. I get them on the right foot. You know that is the key to getting these shoes on. Sometimes they're hard to snap on, but what I like about it is that then they don't fall off that easy. Am I doing the right foot after all that? I think I am. Ugh. Ugh. Maybe not? Hmm. I had to go ahead and say something, didn't I? Ugh. Okay. See, they won't fall off, so I really like that. It's worth it. Worth a little muscle. Okay, there we go. Fabulous. Those are just amazing and fabulous. So cute. What a cute idea with the bolts. She is definitely ready for a sleepover at her girlfriend Claudine's house. Looking amazing. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and stand her up over here. I will show you. She did come with a really pretty little blue brush. And then super fun accessory here. Her little um, iPod charger, eye coffin charger, speaker thingamajigger. And then that just goes right in there. Maybe it's not even an eye coffin. It's probably um, like an iPod, right? So it would be a... Uh, I don't know what the Monster High translation would be, but it goes, I don't know, it feels like it's going to fall out. Okay, cute though, so it can go by her bedside. I don't know if you've seen Frankie's bed, but it is awesome. I was bummed that I have it so packed away and couldn't get to it. Maybe they'll re-release that too, because that is a treasure, let me tell you. Okay, finally we have Cleo here, and I'm so happy to have Cleo. She's obviously just dead tired. And she comes in this adorable little mummy-ish little jumpsuit jammies. And she has really cute little eye mask there. And it looks like it even has eyes on it. Her shoes, I can't wait to get 
a close-up of what those look like. And it looks like she comes with this really cool little uh, pyramid uh, lantern or something like that. Oh, there she is. Oh, yeah, you're there. It's making me tired. And there she is, yawn. Oh, that's a beautiful picture, though. Oh, it says same thing, pop the popcorn, blah, blah, blah. All right, well, then let's just get her out already, huh? Okay, it's the same little bed background there. Oh, I'm so excited to have her. I really wanted her and she seemed to be kind of the scarce one. Um, so, yay, very excited. I, I actually want her jammies in real life. Those look really cozy. <laughs> they look like bandages, but they're really just soft, cozy little bottoms and a nice little top. The top is short sleeve, but then of course she's got her little armband here. And I love the little touch of the little tie here at her waist. She has some really gorgeous hair with these gold streaks going through it. I'm not, oh, I don't wanna, I didn't wanna, she has a, her hair tied back here and I didn't wanna untie it. Anyway, beautiful, beautiful hair. And look at her eye mask with the eyes on it, the Egyptian eyes. I bet those look really funny on her face. In fact, if I can get these down, There's her gorgy gorge face. And she has a band around her neck. She's the only one that has jewelry on. And there's the pants. Wow, oh, looking fabulous. These girls, they are just looking good no matter what they do. All right, let's get a look at her adorable uh, shoes. Oh, those are cute. They have little, little tiaras. I don't quite understand that, but um, and they have little tongues sticking out of their mouth. <laughs> really cute. I love that color too. I guess that's kind of her color, right? All right, let's see. Is that the right one? Is the right? Da, 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 da. Okay. I like Lola Loopsy. They actually print R and L on the bottom of the shoe so you know if it's right or left. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, this is good. You know what? how hard they really are because it's not just you. They really are tricky. Okay, see, and then once you get it in that right spot, it just snaps right on there. And then, oh, and that one wasn't too bad at all. So there's her gorgeous sling back fluffy slippers. She is just looking amazing, amazing, amazing. She did come with this really pretty uh, aqua skelet brush. And then here is her uh, lantern. Does that push down? Oh, it feels like it would. No, I guess not. That is beautiful. I love that as an accessory, totally. Let's see if she can kind of hold it. That is awesome, totally awesome. So I'm just gonna show the two new girls again because they are so beautiful and they're new and I'm really excited to have them. I was kind of surprised they uh, were released. I didn't get a heads up at all, I had no idea. So it's kind of a fun little surprise. Oh, also I did notice on the box it showed that they did a re-release of Draculaura. Also, I didn't get her because I already have her. So that's the story with that. Miss Claudine Wolf, she is just fabulous. You gotta love Claudine. I love this set, I the whole set with her in this bed. I wonder if they'll ever re-release that because that was a goodie, that was a good set. Okay, let's see if we can get her in here. And then we've got Draculaura. I think with this hair, she's gonna be have to sit on the top. You know what I thought was funny is she came with her bed set too, her little coffin bed. And her hair stands up so much, I just thought it was an odd choice of hairdo for somebody that was gonna get squished in a coffin. But she is pretty cute, what can you say? Let's see, and there she is. And then last but not least, we've got Gulia. Oh, you know what I was gonna say is I would just, you know, they haven't done a bed for a while. I think the last beds they did were what? Um, 
Abby's ice bed and Spectra's bed, which both of those beds I adore. Um, but what I'm ready for, and tell me what you think about this idea, a Cleo bed. And it could be like a sarcophagus, like a two tank common king tut sarcophagus that's all gold with hieroglyphs on it. And uh, you just open it up and there's Miss Cleo. I think that'd be awesome. I'm kind of surprised they haven't done that already. I'm not sure why. Okay, everybody, let me know. Which one's your favorite of all of these? Have you found them? Did you even know they re-released them? All right, everybody, be sure to subscribe and bye for now.